to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a What's in My Pencil Case video. This is going to be the third video uploaded today, which is very unusual because normally I only post once a day. Um, but I'm going to be doing a What's in My Pencil Case because I do like these types of videos and this is going to be the second one in my back to school season. So I'm just going to open it. My pencil case is from Kath Kidson, it is a makeup bag and it's very sparkly and pretty and it has a key ring on it. It says wake up and live from tar Tarpo, Typo. I said, I was going to say Target, so I said it really Australian because I look Typo, Typo, okay. So let's get onto the video. So when you unzip my pencil case, the first thing in there is my calculator. My calculator is from Target. It was $15 and it's just a Just Tech brand that no one has ever heard of. But um, I didn't really care at the time. I wish I got a Casio now, but I don't really care because I haven't, I haven't even used it yet because I still have this thing in so I didn't waste the battery. So the next thing I have in here is my glue stick. This is just a normal glue stick. A couple of my school supplies have orange labels on it. That is because I don't want to get them mixed up with anyone else and I don't want anyone to steal my things. So next I have this unicorn rainbow pen. This is from Kmart, it's so cute. It's got 10 different colors on it and this was $2. It came with a second one, however I had to throw that in the bin because it didn't work. So this one is just so cute and I love it. I have this UV gel pen. I This is one of three because I really like UV because their initiative is brilliant. You probably all know UV's initiative, but if you don't, every school supply that you buy, they donate one to a child in need, which I think is so lovely. So I decided to buy something because I think child helping children in need is so lovely and I think that is something more companies should do more of. So this is a Faber-Castell text liner as well. It has the little orange label. I got two packs of highlighters this year, which is a bit crazy, but I didn't know why I did it. So I bought it because it was like crazy. So. Next I have this ruler from Muji. This would not be in my Muji haul, although I do love Muji. Um, there will be more Muji hauls definitely in the future because I do love a good Muji haul. Um, and this is just a normal 15 centimeter ruler until you open it up and it is a 30 centimeter ruler which i think is so cool and this was like so cheap from muji again it has the orange label on the back then i have another one of my favorite castell highlighters i have the bic crystal blue medium medium crystal blue pens these are just the biro ink ones and they have little rubby rubber tip on the end so that they're Orange label can stay on. There is a couple of these in my pencil case. Then I have the Staedtler Norris HB2 pencils with an orange label. I have the Faber-Castell pencils as well and they have a little nib on it as well as these so that the ink does not ink so that lead does not go all over my pencil case when I'm storing it. I have a couple more of the pencils, just the same old, same old, you just saw them. Except this one's gold instead of blue. Next I have another one of the Staedtler pencils. I have this awesome Kiki K pen. It is just a rose gold one. I love it so much. It was $19.95, which is kind of crazy, but I'd pay it because it is such a lovely pen and it's so um, flowy. I love the flow pens. I hate Biro because I, my writing is so um ugly in it so that's why i bought some biros this year so i can learn to write neat in them i have one of the other packs of highlighters i got i got the sharpie smear guard ones as well so that's just the yellow one i got this unible pen this is just a blue one i have the green faber castell highlighter i have another sharpie highlighter another bic crystal pen I have this awesome Swarovski crystal pen. It comes in its little case, so it's so lovely. And then when you open up, it's got some crystals in it. And this is just such a lovely pen. I love it. Downside is though it is biro, so my writing does look super ugly in it. So I'm gonna try and write neatly with these pens. 
I have this mechanical pencil that everyone in America in their back to school hall says is a necessity. So I bought one just to see how it works and to be honest it is a pretty good pencil. I have, oh my god, it's a lid. I love my Sharpie snow guard. I need to find that. Anyway, I do have the pink Sharpie smear guard. I'm just trying to find its lid now. Is that it? There it is, found it. I don't know why that fell off. So, that. I have the Helix set of mathematical instruments. If you can hear that clunking around in there, it just has things like protractors, compasses. Oh my god, I, keep, I can never open these things. And then it has a small ruler. However, I still use my Muji one because it's really annoying when you have to rule a line, then move it, and it gets rubbish because of how you've moved it. It's so annoying. You get, I have this Muji um, stapler. It's just so cool. I love Muji. You can see lots of these school supplies are from Muji. This is a Uniball black pen. I have this pen from Tiger Girl. It was one pound. She's like a lady. It's so cool. I have another rose gold pen, except this one's from Typo. I don't know how much this one 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 was. This one was. It was a gift from my aunt. And then I have another one of those Yubi pens. I have another one of those crystal blue pens and a profile paper mate one. I like paper mate. I have a Sharpie smear guard one. Um, I have a, another profile one. I have another Uniball one. Another highlighter. I have another UB pen. I have a. Ooh, this is cool. Um, so you take the lid off and there's a rubber. I don't know what you guys call them because people from all over the world call rubbers different things. I call it a rubber coming from England, but if you're from America, then you would know that as, a, an, as an eraser. And then this brushes away all the rubbings so that your work doesn't look all messy when you think. And this is just called a compact thing. I really like it. I have some mechanical leads for my mechanical pencil. And I have some, I have a rubber again and a sharpener. I have some of these leftover nibs from everything. And the last thing in here is the coolest thing ever. So it's just these scissors and they have, yes, this is the scissors. And they have this thing where you can clip it onto your shirt in school so if I quickly this is not my school shirt but so I have a uniform sadly but being really annoying so it won't clip um, and then when you open it it just very springy and you can cut obviously this is in my Muji haul if you want to watch my Muji haul then depends when this video is out it may be in the link of the description it may not be so that is everything in my pencil case Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what's your favourite piece of stationery. Mine, personally, is those scissors. Or I do like me good, good rose gold pens. They're my favourites, I must admit. So, that's mine. What's yours? Comment down below. Bye! Hope you liked it. Subscribe, comment and like this video. Please, I'm trying to get to 10 subscribers. I know that's so weird. And if you're like watching this, then you're probably like, oh my God, she's a loser. But I only have one. So 10 is kind of a goal for me because I generally have never had 10 subscribers. So that's cool. I hope you can get me to 10 subscribers. Guys, I love you if you do. Bye.